Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Chase Wise back with another video, man. I hope y'all having a great day so far. Uh, as you guys can see from the title of the video, today I'm going to be showing y'all how to get your 808s on key with a loop or while using a loop. And there's a lot of videos that cover this, but I feel like there's some videos that like aren't very specific with it. So there's like multiple things that you can do. Uh, to start, I got my boy Buggy Beats loop right here from his Global Boy Loop Kit. I'll have the link for that in the description. Y'all go get that. Uh, but to start, um, go ahead and play the loop and then show you a few different examples of what to do. Yeah, easy hit. But um, one of the things that you could start off with is listen for the chord progression or usually the bass line is what I like to do if I want to be quick about it. Uh, so to start, let's see if we could like figure it out. So go in, you can go into your 808. Uh, the first thing you want to do whenever you grab an 808 is if you're not sure if it's on key, uh, move this little time thing over here in time stretching. Move it all the way down. So if it's like up here, just move that joint down and then turn off loop, use loop points. Uh, and what that would do if it's like, here's an example. Uh, over here, this is stuck on C no matter like. No matter what I play, it's still going to be on C. But if I turn off use loop points and turn off time, then you'll see what I'm talking about. So that's one of the things. Um, another thing is what you can do to find the key uh, is right click on the little audio file on your 808, uh, click edit, and then go to record right here. Go all the way down to detect pitch regions, and this, and then it'll say right there E. Um, and this can be the same for FL Studio 20. It's just a little bit different in Edison. Uh, go back to your 808. Go to this little INS tab. I'm not really sure what that stands for. Never really noticed that. But um, go into the little piano roll right here. And then right click on E. And then that will automatically set it to the key. So once when you find the key of your loop. Uh, if the key of your loop is on C. Then you can just go to C. And it's on key then. Um so to find a key of a loop what you could do is either hear it out like the bass line or you could go to your loop do the same thing with the 808 uh go to edit go to record the tech pitch regions and then from the beginning you could see that it's either f sharp or um e so go here place on f sharp or e but in this case it's on it's in the key of f sharp so as you can hear and then just like that, you just follow the bass that you hear inside of the loop. So you already know that the root's F. So if you know your scales, you'll know like what's in the scale of F sharp. Um, and then you just follow the bass line pattern that you hear. And you just measure it up with the loop. So... just like that and yeah that's pretty much it um i hope y'all enjoyed the video hope y'all learned something uh whenever i was first starting out this was definitely key whenever i watched a bunch of different videos i had to watch like 20 in total to start understanding like i had to watch like two just to understand the whole loop point thing and the whole time stretch and how to pitch like the 808s and stuff like that so i hope this video helps y'all out man i really do if y'all like like comment and subscribe on the video uh shoot Share it, comment what you guys want to see in the future, man. And yeah, appreciate y'all for watching, man. I'm out.